purpose of our life so we'll, i'll share thoughts related to that so in this uh, universe or in this earth if you look at there are several living beings all the living beings they want to live and in the same way human every human being also want to live a long life so what kind of a life they every want to live a life with happiness without pain or without misery everyone want to live this life but the question is is there complete happiness present in each of the individual in this earth that means uh, it's a question mark people experience happiness occasionally and most of the time experience pain and misery why is it so because the method of living is actually against the purpose of living that's a problem method of living is against the purpose of living what is method and what is purpose we'll give a small example let us say you start uh, let's say you all live in new jersey or new york so new york to you just decided to go for a trip so you went to california then you decided for a one week trip so you went to california you stayed in your friend's house visited places over there what should you do after one week you should return back but you are not returning back what you are doing you went to another place chicago then you went to niagara falls then you came to florida like that you keep on roaming one month two month over you manage yourself with all friends house so first two problems will arise one no more friends will accommodate you because you are spending all your time in their house number one two you will also feel difficult to adjust with all the people right so what was initially your purpose visit california and return back to new york that was your purpose now what is the what is the method what are you doing now you are went to california but forgot to return back so you keep roaming because you want to enjoy or do something 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 like that you deviated from the original purpose so that is what is in our life we are doing so the original purpose is what which we need to understand and how we are living what are we doing currently is it aligned with the path of the original purpose then it will be, then if we align our life along the real goal of our life, uh, purpose of our life then slowly your pains will reduce and happiness will increase immediately day one all problems will not be solved why since you started your journey and you you like deviated so many places right and you need to cut down all that attachments or so many things and bring back and start a trip back to new york then only the peace will be restored the same way currently your mind and your desires everything is deviated towards some other direction you need to align everything back to the spiritual and you know inward journey actually unless and until you do that you will continue to experience that pain and misery so now next question is knowing what is the purpose of birth is known as wisdom jnana or gyan so knowing that the purpose is known as the gyan what is that purpose self realization is the purpose of our life so now the problem is nobody understands this so easily so what happens is everybody makes mistakes in their life all their mistakes whatever they committed come out in the form of pain and misery and result in that which we need to understand basically mistakes pain mistakes pain more mistakes more pain like that what is pain pain is again a medicine given by the divine so you can eat uh, four doses what you did it was so tasty so you ate eight doses you got stomach pain stomach pain is what stomach pain is a medicine given by the divine once the medicine is applied you will stop eating so if you skip meal for one time automatically peace is restored happiness is restored simple but again and again another time another time third time fourth time fifth time man is making a mistake what he is doing he is over eating one time stomach pain came second time stomach pain consistently as he is actually repeating the mistake the divine will give you a powerful medicine what is that ulcer so it will give you ulcer after that he cannot eat extra he has to be very cautious in eating habits so if you look at what is disease disease is a medicine provided by the divine to correct your mistake which we need to understand rather we should not blame the divine actually so how we commit our mistakes which we need to understand 
Number one, due to situation. Number two, habits. Number three, sensual attachment or becoming slave to the senses. Slavery to the senses. So what is situation? So what kind of a situation is around us? We follow and we are induced by the situation. We continue to make mistakes. As a result, we suffer. Number one. Number two is actually habits. We learn some habits from parents, society, source, various places. places. And we continue to do the same habit again and again. And we make mistakes. That's the second one. Even though we listen a lot of lectures, readings, books and everything we do, but still commit mistakes means it's a habit. We are not able to overcome our habit from the using the wisdom. That's what is the second one. Third one is uh, becoming addicted to the senses. Uh, so because uh, you are, uh, it's uh, you you lose you lose your consciousness in the Maya. Maya and Ravalai Chiki Kuludan. So as a result, what happened? You make mistakes. So addicted to the senses. One example I said you is addicted to the tongue. Because of that, you overeat. As a result, stomach pain came. Another one could be, soon, a situation can be, it could be, for example, somebody is smoking in the office and he is calling you for a smoke. You join with him or her. Then you continue to smoking. This is due to the situation. Another one could be uh, due to habit. Some habits you followed uh, from childhood, like getting angry so frequently, irritation. All these things are habits learned from parents and other people. As a result, we suffer with that habit. So, now, the thing is, due to these three reasons, man is committing a mistake. What he should do? He should stop doing mistakes. Because of these mistakes, he is acquiring sinful imprints on his genetic center. So, what he should do? He, sh he should stop doing all the mistakes. The problem is, man will not understand his mistakes. So many people will tell him all these things are wrong, but he will not understand so easily. Why? The mind is not in a calm state. So, the mind, using the mind only, he is enjoying. Using the mind only, he is eating dosa. Even though dosa is tasty, his mind is only enjoying. Mind is only smoking. Mind is only getting anger. So the mind is only making all the mistakes. So who has to correct here? The mind only has to correct. So interesting, right? The person who is making mistake has to correct himself, which is the mind which is making the mistake has to correct itself. So how can the mind correct itself? Who will power the mind? Who will charge the mind? So it's the mind which has to charge itself. It's the mind which has to treat itself. It's the mind which has to act as a doctor and apply medicine here. It's the mind which is falling frequently, has to raise its level upwards and you know, go you know, further in terms of accomplishing the life purpose. So, the mind needs to be charged, powered, enabled, and uh, all these things are uplifted here, actually. That is what is actually we are doing in the meditation. So meditation, outward flowing mind is turned inward, as so slowly the mind achieves calm state. In the calm state, it is able to understand all the mistakes that it is committing. So what it will do? It will realize all the mistakes. That's the first step. Realization of the mistake itself. Why? So the realization of the mistake itself actually, the first understanding that comes. Next is actually, so next is actually correcting the mistake. That is what is coming in the introspection process. So what he has to do here is actually the, the mind and the thoughts arising in each and moment through the mind, all those things has to be corrected and aligned towards the purpose of birth. As I said, purpose of birth is what? Realize the self. To realize the self, what should I do? Realize the self means I should have good imprints. Then only self-realization is possible. I want happiness. In a simpler way, I will put it. Self-realization will lead to what? Happiness. So I want happiness always. So I want happiness. That means what? I should always do good actions. I should always speak good words. I should always create good thoughts. If I do all these things sincerely, I will have only happiness remaining. So sadness will not come at all. So the what has to be done actually, the mind needs to clean itself in this process. Manam tannai tanai tuimai seidu The more and more 
pure and more and more purity and clarity which achieves internally more and more victory more and more success more and more all the resources the mind will get actually from the nature itself the mind as it acquires all power slowly one by one it gets whatever it want the problem is mind is always you know turned on the outside so it keeps on running 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 behind the desires behind various attachments keeps on continuing so it has to be understood first not controlled manade adaka ninaithal alayum ariya ninaithal adangum if you try to control the mind it will waver if you try to understand the mind it will settle remember and repeat again if you try to control the mind it will waver it will if you try to understand the mind it will settle so what should you do instead of controlling the mind so hardly close your eyes watch travel inside understand the mind so once you understand the mind you will understand this desire has come because of so many reasons is it really required cut down that desire slowly one by one one by one if you do that many such desires can be eradicated from the mind only the good desires we can keep in our mind focus our energy towards that achieve success on that and achieve happiness from that swamiji is actually telling one poem related to that echeyalum moolamenum ennathal aagum inbu thunba kaaranamum aduve aagum echeyalum thee erindu eliyum bodu iyangum udar karvigalal arivai kondu achamara anubavithe anaikkalagum adai thanikka veru vali illai adanal nachivula echeyalai vilaivikkada nalluluka vaalkaikku murai vaguthe he has said in this poem all everything all the actions became that a thought force is actually under that and it is only creating the happiness as well as pain in our life it's the root cause of everything when the desire is like a fire when the fire comes out inside the desire which is a fire comes out inside you need to fulfill the desire using the our physical body but when you fulfill that remember you need to ensure you keep good desires if you have bad desires or sinful desires it will create harm to this body as well as to the mind so follow the morality of the life and create good desires and enjoy or perform those desires using this body that's what swami ji said so this is what now in this process if you look at in the meditation immediately day one you are sitting your mind will not be calmed completely so it keeps on running and settling it back to the calm mind is not that easy actually so you need to bring the concentration uh, you know slowly 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 and uh, finally achieve actually a very subtle calm status in your mind actually for this you need to ensure your biomagnetism is strong if there is a intensity of the biomagnetism is low then the mind also will function accordingly so when you sit in meditation if you go to calm frequency then only these mistakes will you know you can you can understand your mistakes to go to calm frequency uh, intensity of biomagnetism is very important that's one and so to increase the intensity of biomagnetism expenditure of biomagnetism need to cut off again everything is linked so first what are all the mistakes we are committing big mistakes then these are all the big mistakes i am committing every day so i will stop spending or expenditure of biomagnetism on all these big mistakes avoid that cut down the first level now what what happened increased in the intensity of the biomagnetism in the body so when you sit in meditation concentration level increases significantly so now you can understand little more first karma three type of karma akamya karma prarabdha karma sanjira karma akama karma related mistakes first you finish it off that is external mind related mistakes outer mind related mistakes next is as the mind calms down middle mind related mistakes thought force level so many things so many mistakes unwanted desires or thoughts are coming out slowly you introspect and correct yourself third level is subconscious level some thought patterns are created that has to be corrected that once you charge the biomagnetism to the next level automatically you understand your subconscious level imprints and slowly you cleanse that as well 
and after that what is left now divine energy which is love and compassion so once you cleans all the three levels of mistakes which is committed every day by all of us layer by layer as you remove you will see and slowly penetrating into the inner core of yourself which is the purpose of life so what am i doing every day so i am working here or i am doing household activities what is my purpose so when i do all these things am i forgetting my purpose that's very important actually for example uh, uh, in a in a house actually a small child is there and the mother is there what the mother will do even though mother is doing all the work the baby is let's say 6 months old suddenly the baby is crying what the mother will do immediately go and attend the mother attend the child switch off the gas stove or switch off whatever work she is doing she will stop immediately and attend the child and feed the child or do something to the child and pacify the child right similarly the mother will even though she is doing all the work is connected to the child 24 she is doing all the work is connected to the child in the thought level all the time even the sleep also suddenly the child is crying the mother will wake up and you know feed the child or do something to the child so pacify the child right the baby the same way in our goal level like the mother we need to connect or we need to ensure our goal is understanding the divine that's a goal fix that always have that in your mind we have to work we have to do all the things growing up children family all these things are there part of life we have to live no way out no way of escaping from the responsibilities of our life but ensure the connection is there suddenly you get agitated stop pass for a while there is a child just inside you is crying now calm down sit in a calm place meditate address the agitation relax then start working again you get agitated irritated by something sit down relax calm down address the inner child which is crying relax so like that you address the inner child which cries normally three or four times in a day right you keep addressing keep addressing slowly the weight of all all the mistakes from your mind then what happens slowly your imprints uh, you know are released you are maintaining the balanced state of mind extreme state of calmness all these things come naturally so when you do all these things you achieve the purpose of life when you do that itself what will be restored now naturally peace is restored in your life when peace is restored happiness only will remain sad or misery all those things will slowly go away because in the past we have created so many actions performed so many things which we have to bear the fruit now but one by one one by one ask if you eradicate because of let's say 10 actions you are experiencing current pain or misery one by one you correct so i did not do exercise excessive usage of senses resulted in a disease so today onwards do exercise sincerely doing exercise sincerely keep the body in the health condition so i am going to do it simple one thing you start doing releases the diseases from the body one problem and solution next doing meditation regularly the mind improves slowly like this body level mind level soul level the cleansing starts then automatically the peace and calmness is restored back this is the fundamental of life and we are all living for this only one and only purpose in our life so if we this is the priority in life remember this is the first priority in life other things are there like the mother right the mother has to work mother has to do lot of household activities all are there but what is the first priority child cries means stop everything right similarly if mind cries the mind is losing the peace first priority address that somehow sit in the calm take an auto suggestion frequently not to get anger or worry or fear all those feelings are there means the child is crying deep inside sit calm auto suggestion so many times several times you do that address the child's need if the baby's needs are not addressed the mother cannot work in the kitchen right the baby will keep on crying the mother whatever she does will be disturbed cannot do the work rather stop the work somehow we can manage the food or the mother can manage the food for others once specifying the baby the work whatever the mother is doing will become very successful 
the same is with us as well. So once you satisfy the inner inner quest or the inner and the Atma Dahatai, Yapuldunam Nerevitigramu, Apuldha, then only the baby will sleep peacefully. We hear the baby is our inside, our consciousness, which is the inner quest, inner quench, which has to be fulfilled. The inner thirst has to be pacified. Unless and until you do that, you will continue to have pain and misery in life. So this is the one and only purpose in life. And fix that in your mind and, and work towards that. You will achieve success. With this, I will conclude. Thank you all for the opportunity. Be blessed by the Divine. All right.